well, I said I was going to tell this story, and I need to tell it for me because it might be a while before I could talk to somebody about it. I'm not telling the whole story, I'm just telling one thing. Um, when I had surgery on Wednesday, I was medically raped, I guess you would say. Um, I was refused underwear numerous times I asked for it. They ignored me. I finally appealed to the charge nurse and said, how would you feel? You had to go in there and they were going to spread your legs open and do all this stuff to you and you had no underwear on. And she finally looks up at me and like the lights go on behind her eyes. She's like, would you like some hospital underwear? And I'm like, for the fifth time, yes, I would like some. I, I won't go in there without hospital underwear on. And, uh, you know, then the flurry back. Well, I mean, there was a good half hour before nothing happened. She didn't bring the underwear. We kept asking. She didn't bring it. Um, and then a flurry of activity happened. And, you know, um, I was in the OR. And uh, I'm not aware of anything that's going on, obviously. They put me under. Um, but I wake up um, with my left leg and her thigh really swollen and bruised. Uh, some of the bruises still haven't even come up to the skin yet. Um, no underwear on, and my labia was bruised as well. So I don't know whether somebody penetrated me or what happened around my vagina in the hospital when I was under. I was at Albany Medical Center in Albany, New York, and uh, my doctors already referred me to therapy over it. I don't know where this is going to go, but I needed to get the story out. I have... PTSD from things like this already happening. They were supposed to put give me Valium and all this to calm me down and, you know, all that long story. And they didn't do any of that either. And I ended up having to rip my IV out and escape the hospital pretty much. So that's the longer part of the story. But this part, this, this part is like, that's the part I don't know how to deal with. I've had 40 years of therapy. I have psychiatric degrees myself. I've done therapy. And I just never thought I'd be at 58 years old in a medical facility with doctors and nurses and all that and have to worry about something like this. So, um, I don't even know how to approach it. Legally, emotionally, um, I just, I don't know. I'm still dealing with the pain and the issues with my legs, so that were caused by whatever they did. Vaginally, I don't really can't tell other than everything being bruised. Um, but inside, it doesn't feel like anything like tore me up or did anything like that. I just don't know what happened. Um, and I should have had underwear on to begin with, and I don't know. So uh, I know hospitals have gone downhill, Albany Medical Center is definitely one of them. Um, trash was piled up you know, all over the place in there, um, on the floor next to the trash cans and everything. It was just, uh, bad. So, maybe they had no hospital underwear and they should have just told me that. They should have gave me some hospital, uh, you know, those drawstring scrubs, something like that, anything, just something to cover me up. So, um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I've been actually raped, so it's hard for me to call it a rape, but... That's what most people would call it. So, I'm just telling you because you're my community now. And you've become pretty much my primary. And um, I just needed to talk it out. And um, until I can get to actually talk to somebody else about it, I'm talking to you. I'll be back later with lighthearted dabbing and other stuff and music.